Hello there, everyone. Welcome to some bro Tato. We're going to get careless today. Random lose materials at wave's end. 1% for every 7 materials. What? Minus 3% damage when you level up. 25 luck. Start with slingshot. 25% price down plus price up. Huh? Per 7 materials. Lose 1%. So if we ever get to 700 materials, we'll lose everything. What's the upside? I don't see an upside on this character. Um, armor. I have no money. Harvesting? Well, that's terrible. Uh, harvest? Like, 25% down is nice. But shop prices go up? It's not nice. Because the shop price is going to go up 60% by the end, so realistically 57%. And I'm losing money, and the only buff I get is, um... They, I've, I've said my piece. The only buff I get is... Hey, why isn't my damage going down? My damage hasn't gone down. Uh... I think... So it's a temporary thing? I think this may legitimately be the worst character in the game. Uh, wholeheartedly, I think this may legitimately be the worst character in the entire game. Because there's nothing positive about this character. Lifesteal. Harvesting is vital. XP gain? Because I can't even enjoy buying items. And there's no positive. Huh. Um. I feel like there's a more fitting name. It'd be like the useless. Hopeless, the fool. I was kind of hoping there'd be something that I missed, or like some hidden stat or something. Uh, all, the biggest thing I can see is get harvesting and. At the end of a wave, you'll have money. But only with how much harvesting you have. Actually, I don't know if harvesting... I don't know if harvesting kicks in properly. Um... Because I can't afford anything. I don't know why they start with slingshot because usually that's to kind of like guide the player like this is going to be good uh, I have no clue 
because like per seven percentage wise you're gonna lose material uh which is extremely harsh uh, i guess this is just like the most challenged character and I'm actually curious if there is a level of this character I could make good if I just gave them free stats. What can I do to make this character good? Harvesting is the easy thing. Um, what gives a lot of harvesting? All right, let's see. Definitely won't take that. Let's see. Maybe there's a 20% chance they get a free item. I'm going to go the harvesting route this time. Just to see if that does it. And if you're upset and are like, well, you're ruining the integrity of this run. Okay. <clears throat> Give me a second. Okay. I think I may have given this character too much power. But, uh, 80 harvesting and the crown. That's my idea to potentially make this character mildly decent. Because all I can think of is, like, I need something massive. Absolutely. Okay. I was at 50. One thirty. Ten percent of one thirty. Really not sure how that actually calculated. Um, but we're gonna try it. I still don't think this is enough to make this character decent. Why am I at negative twenty? I should be at 16. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, th I... Like, seriously? I really can't think of, like, too much... Like, it's gonna make this early, like, really strong. But don't forget... The price of everything goes up. A lot. We're going to have 50% shop prices coming up very soon. So I want to see if I absolutely broke this character. I think I actually may be having continuously decreasing stats. Because the character can't gain back HP. But let's see if this makes them playable. I think it will. I think that is enough of a, of a boost that they'll be playable. And honestly, I didn't know what else to do besides die on like wave five continuously because I can't buy any items. So... I figured this would be a more engaging form of doing it. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. Um, if there, like, a lot of characters I don't feel like I need to change. I really did for this. Because um, if I get 50% down by the end of it, we'll still charge on uh, 
items, we'll still have an upcharge on the cost of items, which I don't think will be the worst thing in the world. So I think this probably will make me strong enough. Pro I probably should have given myself one instead of two tractors. I think that would have been a more appropriate use because then I wouldn't have gotten such an immediate boost in the beginning. But whatever. I think it should be fine. Why does this sound so much louder than normal? Maybe I might just be me. I messed up my headset volume earlier today. And I usually rely on it being consistent. <clears throat> yeah, I think Nope, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my tongue for now. I still don't know if this is gonna hold up. Because I'm not sure if like on wave five would a hundred and fifty materials be good? Because if I get to 700, I'll lose 100% of my materials. I do think the early tons of level ups are probably really, really strong. How do I have this much HP? 10? 25? 25? I don't know why I have so much HP. I feel like I have way more HP than I should have. So I'm really curious. I'll go from 180. Yeah, I went from like 180. I only gained 60. On 151. That ain't that good. That ain't, that ain't good. So. We'll, we'll see. I'll, uh. I'll keep trying. But it, it could very well just be this is, this character is just inherently yeah, 55 luck. Not good. This is the most challenged character of them all. Because, like, even a character I thought was extremely frustrating and my least favorite character I think I'd done so far, um, until I kind of pushed it a little bit, was Contra. Contra was one of my least favorite characters in the game because they just had a massive debuff of... They had one HP permanently. They could never get more than one HP. They're always one hit from death unless you get things like... Uh, Tardigrade, there we go. Once you got things like Tardigrade, they were always one hit from death. Which obviously is a very serious thing for a character. Um, maybe have like your guaranteed an item at the end of every wave, like just something in the shop is free. Man, I don't know. I feel like it needs something. There needs to be something about this character that makes them playable. Oops. There we go. Um, but... Because, like, even as terrible as the um, soldier is and how much I hate them. They offer a unique way to play the game where this technically it's a unique way to play the game. You could just play the game without items. <clears throat> 
I don't find that a particularly engaging way to play the game, though. Um, so maybe that's just me poo-pooing on it a little bit. But the game's kind of built around items. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I do say so myself, I need something. Something more to, like, push me forward. If, if, if there's something I'm missing here, I really don't think there is. But if there is, please leave a comment and let me know. I, I just see no value. Like, if they had... Shop price goes down 3% um, every wave. And you lose that? Maybe. Because then, the further you go into it, items are getting cheaper and it adds a different you know, level to it. Something like that. But as it stands right now, it's like... There's, there's just nothing. Like, I had to give myself 80 freaking harvesting at the beginning, and I think I'm going to hit a hard cap and actually, like, lose money as I go around. This wave... You normally get, like, 300 materials from this wave. Um, which would mean, like, uh, God. I think I'm gonna wind up with, <clears throat> I want to see if my, like, estimation's correct. Uh, we'll have to see in, when I get to the end. My harvesting, I may actually be getting less materials. Yeah. Yeah, I may get... Uh, it's gonna be 700. Um, yeah, 700 became 360. So, I'm no longer, like, positive. Now, if harvesting is proccing afterwards, it won't be that bad. But I really don't know. I want to save the fire. Deals 50% of burning damage. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm really, really not sure. And I'm, I'm interested to find out. Because I, I... Besides Soldier, because I just... I really don't like playing Standing Still. There's not really been a lot of characters. Even a lot of modded characters. There's not been that many modded characters. Like, at, at the absolute core, I haven't found something I like about them. Like, some of them, like... Endertato. Um, I just don't like teleporting around the map because it, it's really hard for me to follow. It just messes with my brain. But even like way worse characters, and I can't think of any characters that are like super, super bad off the top of my head besides the priest. But that was also because I wanted to use the weapon I thought was fit for the priest, which was just, um, if you have six of them, it's minus 18 armor. And they're mediocre weapons. I know it's absolutely partially my fault because I just take a lot of the weapon, but... Is it that I want a billion enemies? Materials at the start of a wave. No? not sure. I'm really not sure. Because um, with any character, any good character, there needs to be something 
of an upside, even if the upside is just uh, its unique nature. My opinion on it. That's my design philosophy. Um, not all characters need to be equal. Some characters can just be objectively better than other characters. Um, but... Should I not be picking up materials? We're at 400. Okay. I want to do the math on this. So we're at 453 uh, divided by 7. Which means we lose 65% of the materials. 453 times uh, 65, so 0.35 is... So we should have 158 plus... 290, which is 448. So I should either be at 448 or if I take the number 453 uh, plus 290 divided by 7 is 106. So I should be at zero materials. Oh, am I gaining damage? Am I stupid? Is that per materials lost? Oh. So I can never buy an item. Okay. I understand it better? Um... I think they need something. Because, like, the character's kind of doing really good right now. Like, I think the character's kind of popping off, you know, right now. But I also had to cheat. Um. I don't know. Maybe start with, like, 50 harvesting, 30 harvesting, like, something like that. Uh, 20 harvesting? Because... Maybe just persevere? I don't know. Like, I can't even get, like, a full arsenal of weapons. Maybe you should just take whatever you're given and don't worry about it. Don't worry about, like, what you're getting. But then it feels like I'm wasting the tiny amount of materials I have. It felt like it was eating up like 50% of my materials. I don't know if it actually is random. There's probably parameters set where it will eat up X percentage of whatever. Um. Yeah, so that does that does show me that this character is a lot better than I initially thought. Do I like them? No, I still don't. I do see that there is now an upside, but... Not a good one? I don't know. I kinda wanna end this run and try again. Maybe with like shotgun or something? 
Wait, can I use shotgun? I don't think I can. Cause I'm not gonna do it if I if I continue this run. I'm not gonna do another one. Um, and this run is doing extremely well. But I want to show off the character, not just the run. And obviously the run should be doing well. I gave them like busted stuff. I I made them bust. Okay. I'm going to actually, it kind of pains me because I am having fun on this run, but I've definitely made myself really broken. Um, I'm going to give it another shot. I need power. So that's why I kept going back up from the minus three. So I was getting something out of it. But my god, was it not enough. I'll try it again, though. I'm gonna try and give it my damnedest. Uh, God, you might not agree. I'm gonna take the harvesting first, because harvesting did work out pretty well. Maybe this character will be good. I have my doubts. My very, very severe doubts. But, maybe. At least I understand the character, honestly. At least I understand the character right now. I feel a lot better understanding them. Um, the increase in the price of items, I think, is ridiculous. I don't think that needs to be there. Maybe if they, maybe if it was twenty-five percent plus shop prices up to 25%. So it's like the beginning, you get a break, and then you stop getting that break after wave five. Something like that. Or, you know, even a, the early game is easier, and then you get that break. Maybe? Not sure. Uh, it might just be I need to be really selective on, on what I'm taking. If you know something about this character that I clearly am not understanding, let me know. Because I feel like I'm... Uh, it's like you don't want levels. Yeah, like I'm... I'm I'm not getting the materials I need because I don't have enough weapons and I can't get more weapons because I need materials. <sighs> sure. Oh my God. I guess we're taking any old range weapon now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, Cause like now that I understand it, like if you can get the the money, you can get a lot of damage. And a lot of damage will carry you for a lot of di you know, a lot of things. But there's a limit to what just having damage will do. It's like, I, I can't even kill the enemies. I, I guess I gotta go with the damage. God, do I want that. I also need to be given weapons. That are good.
I think maybe more than any other character, this character is dependent on what you get in the shop. Like how lucky you get in the shop. I don't know if that's actually true. Is this primitive? Nope. I'm really not sure how true that is, though. Because we got really lucky on that level up. We got really lucky. Um, I probably should have caught on to the fact that my... Uh, HP kept changing. Or, sorry, my damage percentage kept changing. I thought it was just a bug, because sometimes the characters just don't work properly. Um... It's 14... 40, 50... Okay. Because I want to stick with this. I don't want... I want the more HP. And it'll make all upgrades easier. So I, I think I did make it to wave 7 and I died on wave 7, I think. Just have no money. Um, but it could kind of be like the saver. Where, you know, the point is not buying items from the shop. Not all characters need the shop. They do. All characters need the shop. I don't care what you say. All characters do need the shop. Um, but they don't need to rely on it as heavily as other characters. Maybe that's... Maybe that's the thing. Because, you know, 41? It's pretty nice. 14. 17. Um... Sure. More enemies. I think that's also faster enemies, which is not something I'm interested in, but so be it. I need I need like every advantage I can get, and I think more enemies is not the advantage I want. Um Maybe it will be. If I can just, if I can fight off the enemies, then yes. Uh, cause items are 1% down, 4% down now. They'll be 1% at the end of this wave. So, that cheap shop, that ain't holding up any longer. So, I'm hoping my damage will be sufficient. I'm not sure about that. I do really want the speed. I'm going to go with the armor. Not sure about that, though. I guess luck wouldn't hurt. Because we're at 48%. Um... We're at 48% damage, which is good, but it could be a lot better. Like a lot better. 10% enemies is a lot of enemies to deal with. Also 10%, well, I mean, this is a difficult wave to deal with enemies on. You miss out on a lot of those, like, really early upgrades. The, the low-tier items, honestly, like, are some of the best items in the game. <sighs> um... I don't know. 
to make a more up mine um plus one percent plus two percent shop item or not just just minus ten percent it never goes away i'd like that so much more um not a character i like maybe literally my least favorite character uh I just, I don't know what random means. It's just, you lose X. So, um, I'm still glad that I ended the, the busted run. Cause that was, um, obviously busted and I shouldn't have, you know, give them 25 harvesting. I don't know. 10 harvesting something. Cause I think this one. Because I had fertilizer and then I got like the plus five super early on, it made the, the run like bearable. Um, I don't know. Give them 15 harvesting and I think they'll be decent. This caused problems. The reason I took it was I wanted the extra materials because I'm so strapped for cash. I shouldn't have taken the other gentle alien. I understand I definitely made some dumb plays. Um, I think this is okay. Uh, not a character I'm a big fan of. We'll move on to another character. So thank you very much. Goodbye.